campaign down here tonight. Although authorities have not publicly identified the 20 bodies already recovered, I will tell you family and friends have been coming down to Memorial here to just remember the 34 victims that are now presumed dead. And it's been especially hard for them because this memorial sits right next to the area where the conception would have normally docked. Sherry McDonough breaks down into tears as she holds a photo of her daughter, Alexandra Kurtz. She was a go-getter. She was just following her dreams. She loved it here and she loved the boat. She loved diving. Kurtz, also known as Allie, was on the three-day scuba diving excursion when the boat The Conception went up in flames Monday morning. Her loss is overwhelming for her mother. It comes in waves. Never thought I would ever have to go through this. She just wanted to follow her dream of the ocean and the, the sea and diving and that's what she wanted to do. That's where she was happy at. A photo of Allie now sits at the growing memorial for the 34 people who authorities believe were sleeping below deck when the fire started. This woman says she lost her sister. She was a crew member. Yeah, but um, I think that's all I want to talk about for right now. The Coast Guard called off the search for any survivors today. It will take DNA tests to identify most of the victims. In the midst of heartbreak, family and friends are already starting to remember them. Among them, a couple, Patricia Beitzinger and Neil Baltz, who a friend described as funny and always willing to help. There is Mary Beth McGinney and Charles Mikkelvian, as well as Christy Finstan, who was leading the scuba excursion. In Santa Cruz, an entire school is mourning the loss of at least two students and two parents. Because we're a small school, we're very tight knit. Um, I anticipate that everyone in our school community, students, staff, families will be deeply affected. Back at the memorial where the conception used to dock, Jennifer Stafford is wrapping flowers around candles so that the families that have lost someone will know this community cares. If a family member comes here, I want them to know that each person matters equally. And tonight, also among the list of victims is a family of five from Northern California. Now, authorities do say they will be using a rapid DNA test to try to identify the bodies already recovered. I will tell you, there is so much pain and anguish down here. But every time we speak to a family member of one of these victims, they tell us that they love this water and they love to dive. Reporting live, Leslie Manning, CBS 2 News.